So balance on these. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. We got Executor with that long neck. Oh. You see, this is the joke I made. It's part dragon because it's dragging that long ass neck around. <laughs> we got Vulpix! We got Vulpix! Ice ice and fairy for Ninetales. That's that's a pretty cool combination. I'll admit, that's a new typing altogether. It looks great. They look great. I love them. And I've always liked Sandshrew. This thing, this thing's gonna have a lot of weaknesses. Steel and ice. Two double weaknesses, right? And fire, and, uh... So fire and fighting. Uh, it, let's see, it doesn't have the rock weakness because of steel type, though. It's weak to... ground? But it can counter ground. Alright, then we got these dancing birds. Which are all different styles. And make for some funny gifts. I like them. I like them. So the question is, can they change forms? How do you change the forms? Can you do it in battle? Or... So there's one for each of the islands, I would assume? Now this is really situational, because you don't know when something's gonna use, like, a dance move, you know? And this, I thought this looked pretty cool too. It's a meteor Pokemon. And then when it gets hit, it, it like reveals what's on the inside of it. And I thought this looked really cool because it has all these different colors, but I don't know how exactly, you know, how exactly. Then we've got Gumshoe. Which is supposed to be actually referencing, like, a detective, but everybody's gonna say this is straight up the Donald Trump Pokemon right here. I really like Formantis. I think it looks cute. But I love Lorantis. Lorantis looks awesome. I thought this would be part bug, but it's, like, all grass, I guess, which is interesting. I, I, think, I think it looks awesome. I think its shiny form will look really cool. This looks straight up like a physical solar beam. And then I think everybody thought Mudsdale was new, the final form. So we got Mudbrain, which is the pre-evolution one. And then we got the riding. So we get to see more Pokemon. You don't just ride Tauros, but you ride Mudsdale as well. We saw that from before, but you can freaking fly on a Charizard's back, and that's awesome. I love that. I always Charizard has always been one of my favorites. I love that Pokemon. And then we've got these rite of passages, which look like they could possibly be, you know, a uh, a replacement in a way for uh, maybe gyms, just the way that they've kind of laid it out in the trailer so far. This guy, I, I have a theory about this dude's, uh, from what I read about his uh, Marowak. Alright, so we got Donald Trump. You gotta take him out, guys, take him out. So he calls on his young Republican. Misguided m Republican. <laughs> Alright, we got a holla. We gotta take him down, though. And then we've got the JoJo poses. You gotta take down the you gotta take him down with the JoJo poses. Gigavolt Havoc. This thing looks powerful. And I don't know how they're gonna balance this stuff. I'm assuming it's based on the item that you carry. Bloom Doom, so there's the grass type one. Again, looking super freaking powerful. Good lord, like, I mean, it, it straight up died, it disappeared. 
We got Inferno Overdrive. These sound like something from JoJo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, you're just... You are destroying the Pokemon. Alright, Litten's gonna drown to death. Sending Hurricane... <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so now we have the Japanese...